So maybe, you know, the feel for it has a kind of an energetic feel and think about maybe how you can consider that. Now, I mentioned as well that your group are based in Lanan in Galway. Um, and as you can imagine, there's huge visual connotations to Lanan, the beautiful scenery, um, you know, there's, 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 you know, the, the history. Um, so don't be afraid to use that as well. You know, maybe maybe you'll create a, a brainstorm with Lanan um, and it could, could, could be combined with, you know, something like the crochet, the stitching, the embroidery, whatever the fabric, whatever the case may be. So as I said, step one to three is all you need to worry about for now, okay? And I will be checking in with you, you know, a couple of times before the 20th of April. And it's not like as if you've to submit anything on the 20th of April, but this is kind of a timeline to help yourselves. And, um, you know, if you feel like, okay, I'm past that stage on the, you know, the 15th of April, don't be afraid to move on to step four, that's fine. Or if you feel like you need more time to go through steps one to three on the 20th of April, take an extra day or two. Um, and I am mindful that everyone has different scenarios going on at the moment. And it's very difficult to operate submission dates with what we have going on. But we'll, we'll aim for this kind of a setup and I can talk to each one of you kind of one to one as to what your situation is at home because it's not easy for everybody. I suppose then the aim will be that on step four, which will be kind of the week of the 20th, 29th of April, that you should kind of develop three potential logo designs following on from the sketches. Now, these can still be done in the sketchbook. We're not talking about moving on to software at all yet. And um, don't use color initially. This part will come at a later stage when the overall forms and fonts have been chosen. Okay, so, you're literally going to be kind of going through everything that you have in your sketchbook or your, your notebook from steps one to three and trying to develop three different logos, okay? And I'm going to be acting as your client throughout this. So you're not going to be completely at, at home or alone, sorry, alone at home. Um, you'll be able to show me your sketchbook, photograph your sketchbook, and I'll say, okay, well, maybe that's working. Why don't we try this? Why don't we try that? Because that's the way the design process works. Um, the week of the 29th of April to the 6th of May, once you have three potential logo designs developed, you will then further refine one. So it's like you're kind of fine tuning till you get down to your really, really good, good final logo. Um, and you'll do this on computer software, beginning to consider color at this stage. So I know there was um, a lot of you kind of um, panicking a little bit about the computer software. You have kind of three weeks now um, before you even need to think about the computer software. So loads of time for practice. And um, as I said, it can be done in Publisher, Canva or Illustrator. So find which one is your strongest and you can use whichever you prefer. OK, and remember on step five, you know, you're, you're and actually through all your steps, you're developing your, your th you know, your three potential logos and then your final logo. Make sure you have evidence of this. So if you're changing things, you know, take a screenshot, whatever it takes for you to show, okay, I tried this, it didn't work, then I tried this. Rather than presenting a project to me at the end with just your final work. You'll see when I go onto the, the marking scheme, it's really important that you show your development. Okay, so we're on to step six and seven. So step six, Using your finalized logo, you are then asked to develop a literature suite for your brand, okay? Taking the logo as a starting point, consider any extra branding elements you may like to use, like shapes, color, or lines. So what we mean by, you know, if you were doing a business card or a letterhead, you might decide to have some nice horizontal bars across the bottom or the top of the page, maybe. Or, you know, depending on what your logo is like, you might have little triangles or squares or whatever the case may be. Um, so you might need to do a little bit of research on kind of literature suites and how people approach a project like this. This should consist of a letterhead, a business card and a swing tag. So a swing tag is a tag that might hang from a cushion or a tote bag or something. And it will just have, you know, maybe the brand name, your logo will say, and maybe contact details on the back. 
it'll just be for somebody to kind of recognize okay so this tote bag has been created from cycle up cycle up is not what i call them yeah um you might even want to have a little line on um the back of your swing tag just this has been created with recycled unwanted materials or whatever the case okay so that's i leave that completely up to you the contact details will be provided for you so for your letterhead your business cards your, the contact details will be provided and make sure that you show at least two initial ideas for each piece okay that they should be mocked up for, before the final design so that can be either sketched or done digitally whichever you prefer so you should consider what type of paper or cardstock and any particular print finishes that you would like to employ in the finishing of your literature suite. So, you know, I, I suppose I have to, you know, hit the learning outcomes that we have, you know, in our module descriptor. And one of the learning outcomes um, really wants you to consider the cost of something like this. So the commercial cost of printing, maybe your business cards, kids, business cards, your letterhead and your swing tags. And um, the swing tags can be any size you want, okay? And you know, um, so they they probably may be perforated with a little hole, often. Um, so you might say, well, you know, this is the price with the perforation, because some companies may not do that perforation. Maybe you'd be finishing the perforation yourself. So you might just need to check that out. Um, you might consider print finishes based on the fact that you know this company is kind of you know they're recycling you might then go okay is you know a really glossy shiny finish what we're looking for here or should we be considering something that's maybe you know a little you know maybe the appearance of something that's a little bit more handcrafted the the or are recycled um the one thing you don't need to worry about which you're very lucky is uh budget okay so finally what you need to submit is a sketchbook or a notebook showing your initial concept development so all that brainstorming and sketching that you're doing between now and the 20th of april steps one two and three that should be submission and you see that's worth 20 marks then your three potential logo designs they can either be in a notebook or they can be mocked up on your computer whichever you prefer then your chosen logo how it has developed then into a jpeg file okay so literally your chosen logo get it into a jpeg in whatever software you prefer okay then your development of a literature suite so two options and then your final submission of a literature suite okay and please note that your literature suite should show crop marks and if anyone has any problems with that just let me know um think of your card stock your print finishes and your cost okay just to keep that in mind and your final submission should be printed and trimmed down now i know there may be an issue with um submitting we'll see how that goes but keep it you know print it anyway and don't you don't need to consider the finish so if you said you know above that you want whatever weight of paper and whatever weight i just want you to print it on copier paper whatever way works for yourself okay um okay and submit the digital files to um i'll have the folder set up and your name and whatever okay and it's worth 12 percent, as i said and these are the contact details right here okay and i'll finalize a folder for submission um i know you'll have a sketchbook so we'll have to work out how we can submit all those we, we i suppose we're just still unsure as to what will happen after easter um okay so i'm going to pop this and your brief um up on the server on the uh, uh, onedrive if anyone has any problem accessing i'll sort that out and um yeah look we'll take it from there and i'd welcome really really welcome any questions my aim is that you would have a chance to read through this and then we will um We'll, yeah, we'll have a live session um, in the next couple of days. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.